The Hive released their arcade with four fully fledged games, and are you bad? Do you not know how to win? Do you get into games with these guys? Do you get into games with pros and they turn you into this thing? But but, but cracked? Or do you have no idea what the hell this is? Well in this video, I'll teach you the best strategies I have used to win these games. Starting off with... Alright, so the first thing you'll need to do is to select the leap kit. This is the best kit from my knowledge as the golden apple kit won't help you much and the snowball kit is really only useful for countering the leap kit. Like knocking people away from your goal. The leap kit however gets you quicker to the goal making it better than the snowball kit but you can still use the snowball kit. Really just depends on your playstyle and how good you are. So as soon as you drop down, don't use the leap immediately. Use the leap when you're right in front of them because they can't hit you. You might need to build up a little bit though, but that's when the snowballs comes in handy. Once you make it past them, just score like this. But what if the enemy team scores? Something you should do is to protect your own goal. You can make a wall so they can't get up. This is a really effective method, especially in duos where I've won because my teammate over here made a wall and they can't get up while I score in their own goal. So the first thing you'll need to do before playing is to get in a party with friends. You can still play this game without friends, but it'll be easier as you can cooperate and communicate easier. Second, you need to pick a good map. There's only three maps and I highly recommend Oryx. On Earth just feels too cramped and Lago is fine I guess? If you're trying to capture the flag, first step is to immediately rush the other team. Depending on the map, there is some sort of teleporter or launch pad that will help you get to the enemy's base. On Oryx for example, there's a drip leaf on the left side of the map. Once you've used the teleporter or launch pad, make your way to the enemy's flag and take their flag. If it's protected, just use a bow that can shred blocks in this game. You need to watch out as when you have the flag, you also get slowness and it can be hard returning your flag, especially if you're versing emos. But being in a party is useful here as they can help you kill the enemies behind you. You can't teleport while having the flag, but you can still use launch pads, so use the launch pads if you can. Once you've made it here, capture your flag and you should have enough coins to buy some iron armor and blocks. But there's this interesting mechanic where you can't capture the flag with your own back at your base. But your party can just kill the person with the flag, but it'll be quite hard as the enemy team is usually in groups. So if you're not in a party, well, good luck. If you're trying to defend the flag, make sure to defend your flag in every entrance somewhat. Kill the enemy team as they try and get your flag. If someone is coming back with the flag, make sure to make a hole so they can easily capture the flag so they don't die. If someone has taken your flag, try to kill them, and when someone's trying to capture their flag, try to distract them as they're usually in groups so killing them is hard. This is a game mode that has been seen on Hive before in 2020, and with its return they spiced up the gameplay completely by adding power-ups. You should collect these power-ups as they're actually useful, mainly the refill, imposter, and iron man ones. Don't do Hive, but the rest kinda suck. You can use your eggs to actually get these power-ups without running to them on your own side or the enemy's side. Let's talk about the imposter power-up now. This is by far the greatest power-up as you can disguise as someone else on the enemy's team and kill them to win. There's also golden power-ups that spawn at the top of the map and you need to get this. Especially if it's that one golden power-up where it rains eggs on the enemy team. That one's the most useful.
first thing you'll need to do is to start running. You should destroy blocks diagonally. This won't really help you win or lose, just will give you more XP as you're destroying more blocks. But try to collect as much power-ups as you can, but if it's too far down or up, it's not really worth it. If you get a safe walk or a restore layer power-up, try to save it to the very end of the game. Same thing with the one-hit Nemo power-up. You shouldn't use it on someone else as soon as you get it. If you fall at the very bottom layer, you shouldn't use a vault to get back up instantly, unless it's absolutely necessary like a power-up or if the layer above you somehow has more blocks than the one you're on. If people are going to the very bottom layer and try to split it in half like seen here, make sure to save up your vaults and try to get a restore layer power-up. Okay, but real talk, why the hell do people even do this like it's useless, okay? Anyways, I think you should capture that subscribe button, right?